Okay, so okay, hello everybody. Uh, we're going to be talking about the seasons today. And let's imagine that this light bulb over here that I'm pointing to is the sun. Wait, I'm and, supposed and, to do it. And the, this over here is the earth. Okay. Yeah, the, the one that I'm pointing to. Yeah. And the earth, as you can see right now, is pointing with the uh, north pole pointing directly at the sun. The axis is pointing toward the sun. So as you can see, the northern hemisphere, the top part of the earth, is getting more direct sunlight than the southern hemisphere. And so when the, when the north pole points directly at the sun, when it tilts directly toward the sun and the south pole tilts directly away from it, we say that it's winter in the north Southern Hemisphere and summer in the Southern Hemisphere. Now, I'm going to move the globe uh, so that the uh, axis is pointing in a different direction. It's actually pointing not neither toward the sun nor away from the sun. So I'm going to move it over here. Okay. Okay, now let's take a look. Okay, as you can see, the axis now is pointing perpendicular to the sun. Now it shows now it shows that the whole that the whole side side of the brightness. And the shadow is over here. Yeah, so both the north northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere get an equal amount of light. And and this would be uh, uh, fall actually in the northern hemisphere and spring in the southern hemisphere. Okay, now uh, I'm going to move the uh, earth again and we'll move it way over here. And I can't to, see it. We have, let's move the camera, Charlie. Yeah, I, I did move the camera. Okay, now let's get out of the way. You get out of the way too. I'm going to change the contrast just so we can see it a little better. It doesn't change the contrast. Okay, now right now, oh, we're seeing this at a, an angle that's different from where the sun is. It might help if I put it over here. Okay, and I'm going to just push this down. And now you can see that the Southern Hemisphere the, is pointing toward the sun. The Northern Hemisphere is pointing away from the sun. So now it's summer in the Southern Hemisphere and winter in the Northern Hemisphere. And if I moved it another 90 degrees, I'm not going to do that, but if I moved it another 90 degrees, it would be spring and fall. It would be fall in the Southern Hemisphere and spring in the northern hemisphere. So the seasons are really determined because of the tilt of the earth relative to the sun. The axis that goes from the southern hemisphere to the northern hemisphere, it, when it points toward the sun, it's summer in the north. When it points away from the sun, it's uh, summer in the south and winter in the north. Thank you for your attention and I hope you enjoyed my present our presentation